second and ten now. It's Lawrence. Oh, it's intercepted. He was trying to get it to Ridley. Picked by Jeff Okuda. And he'll get this back down to about the 12-yard line. Man, I wonder if someone's down there checking on the head coach right now because he might be a little bit of shock after what just transpired. Instead of a lengthy opening drive to deal with, this guy stepped up and stole that drive away. Momentum on their side Still now. Still get a first down here as they come up on second and inches. Ritter to throw it. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down, so let's sort this out. It brings up a third down. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. On third down, Lawrence. Work in the middle. And he lost the third ball. But it looks like one of the DBs has it. And they'll set up shop in enemy territory at the 45-yard line. The start of this game has me doing flashbacks and remembering when I was playing and seeing a similar start and seeing the head coach actually take a timeout and gather the whole team around him, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked it down to force a fourth down? And this is off the left upright. And it comes back. It's no good. And this will remain a one-touchdown game. Yeah, 55 yards is anything but a game. Here's Lawrence to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 23. Well, hang on here a second. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury. And we'll be back in a moment. Pressure applied, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back at the 33-yard line. Lorenzo Carter. And being able to set the tone early in this game, because when you get down to it, it's that sign that we saw in their football facility when we visited with them. The one that said no explosives, no big plays. No hesitation about this decision here. Confidently, they're going to go for this. Fourth and goal from the three. Going for it. Here's ETN. He's fighting, but they're not going to let him in. Stopped at the two-yard line. Holding offense. Defensive tackles because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw. And he's going to go down. He backed up into the end zone, and this is going to wind up a safety. The goal here is about getting any kind of positive yardage in this spot because you don't care who, you don't care how. You just want to try and buy a little space and get away from your own end zone. But in this spot, the defense was all over that play and equally motivated to stick them with a safety. They go play action with Lawrence. It's caught inside the 25. A big connection on that one. And even 40 yards. Add to that here. First and 10 as this new drive starts. Off the play fake. It's Ritter. Going down the middle, and it's complete. Now he's free at the 35, and he'll be taken down at the 26. A big play there on the catch and run. 62 yards. Pretty good timing. He waited just enough for that post play to develop and laid it right in there. And you know what a lot of teams do when they decide to throw a post get points out of this drive. First and 10. On first down, Lawrence. He completes it to Ridley. Yeah, he'll get this one way on just shot. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Meanwhile, Lawrence's throw into the hands of Kirk. The Jaguars going to go ahead and use their first timeout as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. He'll connect on the out route with Ingram. And the Jaguars are going to be set up with a first and goal. Here to take a look, and we will take a short break. They'll try to run with ETN. And they'll take this one in for a Jags touchdown. Travis ETN, his first touchdown on the year. And the Jaguars get a late score here in the final minute. Final play before the half. Here's Ritter. And this pass is caught by London. And he takes us beyond the 35. 
Here's Ritter. Flushed out right. Smart decision by Ritter. Sliding down, and he's got the first. Give him 18 on the play. Here's a second and five. They'll go again with Patterson. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10. They'll try the left side with ETN. And they will finally get him down, but not before he takes this to the Falcons' 37-yard line. 83 yards for him on the ground. Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on the board. Three points to see. And in this league, you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. They may want to go back to the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? And some nifty running here as he'll take this across midfield and down to the 47. It's a gain of 13 and a first down for Atlanta. ETN, and he loses the football a second time. But it looks like one of the DBs has it, and they will set up shop red zone territory at the 13-yard line. And a little careless there, Charles, on that carry. And it's not just having two hands on the ball. It's tucking it away. It's using your body to keep people shielded off. It's so many different... Option left, and Ritter keeps it. And he fumbled it. It's on the ground. And the Jags grab it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. He had the option there, decided to keep it. Exposed himself and fumbled it. Yeah, and you worry about the hits he's going to take in that situation. In this case, not only does he take the hit, he coughs the ball up, as you noted. Here's Lawrence to throw. He'll get this out to the flat for ETM. And he is going to have a Jags first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Throw right. Now the ball comes loose. And the Falcons grab it. Whenever I see a team turn it over on back-to-back -back drives, fumbles on their last two, I know one person's blood pressure who is starting to rise, and that's the head coach. Absolutely. And when's it going to go down? When they stop fumbling? <laughs> <laughs> when they stop fumbling. It's been a problem. Just one for seven thus far. This is third and four. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And finally down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. Long way toward wrapping this one up. To the air again, it's Ritter. Touchdown! Drake London. And that has him staring at a third and ten. A Ritter back to throw. And he's taken down. Back in his own seven. He could not get away that time, and it'll be a loss. Goal kicker. I, I'm like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. On the drive there. Out of the gun. Here's Ritter. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. First and 10 at the 27. Meanwhile, Ritter's throw complete to Hollins. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Another big gainer that time. This down, so the ball remains at the 8-yard line. Second and goal. Ritter headed right off the option. And he is into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. Desmond Ritter, his third touchdown of the game, his eighth on the year.
And the Falcons look like they're going to get back in the win column as they extend their lead here this fourth quarter. Well, that's certainly going to bump up the old win probability index because now it's a two-score game here in the fourth quarter. He said if it's open, take the shot. If not, get something safe because we do have fourth down to try and pick it up. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time. And anytime you get a chance to tackle someone in bounds, get them on the ground. Here we go. Got to have it. Lawrence. That's caught inside the 20. And he is going to have a Jags first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. Well, CD, for the losing side, they had opportunities in this one, but big plays just didn't go their way, especially late, and they have to suffer the L here. It certainly felt like that takeaway once it happened. It knocked the wind out of their sails, and they just couldn't get their equilibrium back.